Approximately two years ago, there was referred to us a young woman whom we shall know as Eve White. As we grew better acquainted with her, she impressed us as being modest and unassuming, quiet and demure. She is somewhat moralistic, rather colorless and limited in spontaneity. In general, she is passive, gentle, and constrained. She seemed enveloped in a sadness, but not one suggesting clinical depression. Her main symptoms were severe blinding headaches, often followed by blackout spells. Interviews revealed a relatively complex but familiar constellation of marital conflicts and frustrations. Encouraging improvement occurred, but it was plain her major problem had not yet been adequately dealt with. We saw her perhaps 12 times. Suddenly, toward the end of one interview, she asked if the hearing of an imaginary voice indicated that she was insane. An abstruse and inexplicable expression came apparently unprompted by volition over Eve White's familiar countenance. She seemed seized by sudden pain. Her eyes fell shut. There was a moment of tense silence. Her eyes opened. There was a quick, reckless smile and in a bright voice she said, Hi there, Doc. Instead of the retiring and gently conventional Eve White, there was a newcomer. She had a childishly daredevil air and an erotically mischievous glance. Eve Black is a lovable, lying, scampish little hoarden, shrewdly deceitful, but without real malice. She is self-centered, a creature of whim she thinks only of immediate pleasures. She displays an easy familiarity with an appealing, saucy sexiness. Disarmingly attractive, she forever carries disaster lightly in each hand. There is considerable evidence that Eve Black has existed co-consciously and as an alternate personality since Eve White's childhood. Relatives relate many incidences in Eve White's career which were totally out of character and which often puzzled and astounded them. For months, valuable therapeutic time was consumed in helping Eve White out of Eve Black's difficulties and bargaining with Eve Black to get her to remain quiescent while we tried to bring order into the chaos. After eight tumultuous months, we were one day discussing with Eve White an instant about a painful injury which she had sustained as a child. As she spoke, her eyes closed sleepily. When they opened, she stared blankly about the room. Slowly, in an unknown voice, she inquired, Who are you? From the first moment, it was obvious that this was neither Eve White nor Eve Black. Jane is more than a mere sum of the other two. Jane lacks Eve Black's obvious faults and inaccuracies. She impresses us as far more secure, more vivid, capable, and more interesting than Eve White. In her are indications of initiative and powerful resources never shown by the others. Jane has an awareness of what both Eves think and do, but has incomplete access to their stores of knowledge and their memories prior to her emergence upon the scene. Jane feels herself personally free from Eve White's responsibilities and attachments, and in no way identified with her in the role of wife and mother. She seems capable of compassion and valid love. She has cooperated with sincerity and with judgment and originality beyond that of the others. She is warm-hearted, friendly, and well-rounded in valuable human qualities. Dignity, poise, culture, and a genuine sense of humor reveal her as a person of merit. Are you feeling well these days? I feel tired. Feel tired? Yes. You felt tired for some little time, haven't you? Yes. I see. Do you hope and expect that this will all soon be terminated? Yes. How do you feel about that? I think Jane will be the one. You feel that she will be the one? Yes. How do you feel personally about it, though? Well, it's just something that's got to be. 
Do you I want to get well, and if that's the only way to get well, that's the way I want it. Do you feel that you will be in any part of it? No, I don't feel that way. Does it cause you distress? In a way, I worry about Sarah. You feel that she may not be taken care of? Yes. <laughs> I see. Do you regret going, or what's your feeling about it? No. I'm tired. Can I speak with Eve Black now? Sure. Eve Black? How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Good. All right. I don't know. Did you, enjoy, good. did you enjoy the trip over today? Yeah. It was disappointing, though, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, you know, I, I thought we'd just swim through space and then we were just creeping along like a little caterpillar. I didn't even feel like I was moving. That's your first airplane ride? How do you like all this? I think it's real exciting. Do you? Don't you? Yeah, it's very interesting. I guess it is interesting in a way. I think it's more exciting than interesting. How long have you been out? Huh? How long have you been out? Do you mean in all? Mm-hmm. Off and on all my life. All your life? You remember some things that happened in your childhood? Yes. You remember things that happened to Eve White? Mm -hmm. I see. I know everything that happened to us. But you don't seem to have as much educational background. How is that? I guess I just wasn't interested. Why? In getting an education, you have to study. Well, somebody had to study. Not really, not. She didn't have to. Well, she did in order to get an education, didn't she? She wanted one, though, but I didn't. Why didn't you learn as she went along? I guess I just didn't pay any attention. Well, where were you when she studied? I don't know. Just somewhere. Going oh, away. Yeah. But you always knew what was going on. Mm. Did you have trouble coming out? Yeah. Could I speak with uh, Eve White? Sure. Eve White? Feel all right? Yes, Could I speak with Jane? Sure. Jane? <laughs> it is real exciting, Dr. <laughs> you enjoy the trip over there. Yes, I do. How do you feel about the future? I'm optimistic. Do you think that you will be the surviving one, or...? I think that's difficult to say right now. I see. Do you feel hopeful? Yes, I'd like to live. I see. What do you feel about the little girl? Uh, well, she seems like my own now. Hmm. I've been around her quite a while. I see. You're rather looking forward to it? Yes. You don't mind the responsibilities and obligations mm -hmm. Do you have any sort of future plan for yourself? At the present, no. That special life, man? Yes. It's my pretty. Do you like the lines of that dress? Yes. Oh, would you like to turn around shorts? Yes. Look for snazzy, doesn't it? I do think it's snazzy. You don't like snazzy clothes? No. I see. Uh, would you walk over here just a little way? All right, now would you turn and walk back? Mm -hmm. Do you 
You usually like short sleeve, long sleeve? No, I like long sleeve. Do you? Yes. Would you turn around once more, Cheryl? Sort of walk around a little second. All right. All right. Suppose you walk off. Black, that's your dress. This is mine. You like it? Yes, I like it. Like it a lot? Yes, I like it a lot. You dancing? Yes. How about showing it off for Okay. okay. It's got a lot of skirts. Mm -hmm. See, it has. Walk over this way for me. Okay, now walk back. Eve, how about singing a song for us? Oh, church, I can't sing without music and, uh, well, other than music. I have to have something to get me in the mood. What about one of those jokes? What jokes? I don't tell jokes that they've been, jokes got me confused with somebody else. No, you, the jokes you told Charleston, what about it? No, I don't even remember them. Look at the camera, yes, you did. No, I don't. You don't remember singing one you told? Let's say I've forgotten them. Don't think you do tell this company? I really don't think so. Well, I bet you could say it. Well, I could have forgotten the mood. What about dancing? I like to dance. What about doing black bottom part? What's the black bottom? Now, you've been in the country all these years and you don't know the black bottom? No. Not at all? No. How did you know about it? You think it's pretty? Yes. You did have a loud one. A red one, but it didn't have a lot of skirt. Show it off for us again. It does look pretty when you're on the dance floor. You think that's pretty snazzy as a dress, huh? Yeah. I like those little frills up in front. I like those little frills. They don't stick out very well. They're not supposed to. Not supposed to? Nope. Okay, turn around. Look back over your shoulder now, Tom. Look. All right, I'll turn it all around. Where's that green? Okay. That's all. Okay, walk off for us now. Thank you. Hello. Hey. That's your favorite dress? Yes. Why do you like that best? I suppose I like suits. I like color, too. I see. So it embarrassed you back in there still that thing, did I don't think it embarrassed you. You just said you know, Did you like that? I don't know how I'm going to take it. Yes, I'd love to if I knew how. You don't think she was embarrassed? I didn't think she was embarrassed. Do you? I, I don't think so. No. Would you like to cut around for us? Would you like to cut around for us? Would you like to cut around for us? The bone, do you? Huh? Crack the bone, do you? Crack the bone, do you? Would you like to turn around and show it to us? Look over your shoulder now. Okay. Now, where's our first smile? What do you think about uh, Eve Black's dress? I think it's very charming. Do you? Yes. I don't think I'd like to wear it. It's a little bit uncomfortable. What do you think about uh, Eve uh, White's dress? I think I'd come nearer wearing that. You like that? <laughs> yes. Would you like to walk over here, Paul? All right, I'll just walk back now. Well, that's fine. Look mighty cute. Thank you. All right. What is your name? Eve White. Eve White. What do you know of Eve Black? Nothing except what I'm told. Have you ever known anything about it? Yes, for a couple of days I knew. She let you know, is that right? Yes. I see. Apparently she's come out numbers of times during your life. Yes, I think so. When that happened, how did you account for the lapse of time? 
thought I had amnesia. Did you think it was normal? Did everybody have it? No. I didn't notice it, I don't suppose, to begin with. How did you account for it? I didn't seem to notice the difference. I see. What do you know about Jane? Nothing. Nothing at all? No. Where are you when either Eve Black or Jane are out? I don't know. <clears throat> Do you know what's going on? No. Well, how do you account for the time gap? Say, when you go away and maybe you wake up and you're in a different dress, it's a different day. I can't account for it. You can't account for it. I see. Uh, you've recently gotten a divorce, have you not? Yes. Was that your first or your second marriage? My first. Are you positive you've never been married before? Yes. Do you plan to remarry? No. Why not? I just don't think I should. Do you have any plans at all for the future? Not really. Hmm? Not really. What are you going to do about little Sarah? I think Jane will be the personality left. Why do you think that? I don't know. It just seems logical that she should be. You mean you don't feel as strong as you want to be? Oh, no. I don't feel strong at all. Do you want to go on as yourself? No. Why not? Because it isn't normal to be like this. Suppose you could be well. I don't think I can be. Why not? I just don't do think I, I think it should be Jane. Eve, do you feel that something has probably always been wrong with you? Yes, I think so. Seeing other girls, you don't feel that you have been, let's say, normal? No, I don't think so. Is that more looking back over your life? Yes. You've always been a rather sad person, haven't you? I suppose you might say that. Before your divorce, you recall the time that you went to another city uh, with your husband, rather, in black bed, and you woke up there? Yes. How do you feel about that? I didn't think it was fair. What do you mean, fair? Well, he knew how I felt about it. We had agreed to live apart, and it seemed untimely that he would ask her to go, knowing that it wasn't me. I see. Can I speak with Eve Black now? Sure. Eve Black? Do it. <laughs> how do you feel? I feel all right. That'd be hot. Real hot? Yeah. Oh. Um. How do you feel about that trip? You mean? Oh. Just one of those things. Well, why did you go with him? You knew that you all separated or out of it. I wanted some new clothes. Well, was it worthwhile to go to get the new clothes? I got them. Yeah? I know you got them. But was it exactly fair to eat one? I... I think so. I don't see any harm it did. You went just for the new clothes? Sure. That was enough. Yes, but naturally he would expect more than just that out. Naturally he would. <laughs> I see. What do you know about Eve White? Everything. What do you think about her? I think she's dead. What do you mean? A lot. Has she always been that way? Yeah. Is she more so now? Yeah, seems to, don't she? Mm hmm What do you think about Jane? I don't know about her. I wish I did know her. What? I don't know what I was up to No, Oh. Uh. <laughs> what are you going to eat white fat? I'm just sitting there looking. Always looking? Not always. If she's working, I'm not working. Oh, no. I don't like the work. You don't seem very loud, don't you feel good? I feel good. It's too hot. What do you 
you think about Jean? I don't know about her. You like her? I don't know. Where are you when she was out? I don't know. I see. The best place to marry, Joe. Who concocted that? Huh? Who concocted that? I guess I had something to do with it, didn't I? Did you?
happiest in everything she does. Jane, do you have any plans for the future? At the present, no. You see some hope for the future? Yes. You think you might find happiness? Yes, I do. Fine, Jane. Can I speak with you, Eve White? Sure. Eve White? Feel all right? This is Mrs. Evelyn Lancaster. She has qualities of Eve White, Eve Black, and Jane, but there is more. She has greater animation and energy. She is vivacious, understanding, and tender. She possesses the full memory of all three personalities. At the beginning of her new marriage, serious problems arose, which would be a real test for a person who had never been ill. She displayed unusual judgment, wisdom, tact, and consideration in meeting the situations. The marriage, so it seems to us, is the more precious and enduring for having weathered the trial, and so is the new personality. She and her husband love each other. Unlike Eve White or Eve Black, Mrs. Lancaster is not sexually frigid. Many things probably contributed to the development of the disorder and to the final resolution of the three personality manifestations. One, Mrs. White's unhappy marriage ended in divorce. Two, her difficulty in holding a job because of Eve Black's irresponsibility intensified her financial problems. Three, Jane fell in love, but felt she should not marry unless the disorder was relieved. Four, the passage of time with the influence of intrinsic biologic tendencies toward repair and growth may have played an important part. Five, the persistent attempt by the therapist to offer understanding and a painstaking review of the patient's past life perhaps played another part. The resolution came suddenly when Jane vividly and dramatically recalled that she had been forced to kiss her grandmother's corpse farewell. This was a first memory of personal experience prior to the time she emerged as a separate personality in the physician's office. It appears that this unhappy event at age five triggered processes which led to dissociation and to the development of the two personalities, Eve White and Eve Black. Whether or not Mrs. Lancaster will continue to enjoy a happy life, we are unable to predict. At any rate, despite strange and formidable handicaps, she has reached the goal of love, 